Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signar. Look, Cats the movie was terrible. Everything about it was terrible. It was boring. Uh, the story made no sense. The music, even as iconic as it is, Andrew Lloyd Webber, blah, 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 it was boring and un- not catchy. Uh, the effects were creepy. Uh, but I guess I can admit, technically, the effects were made by professionals. Uh, and the reason I'm pointing that out is because the visual effects uh, group, whatever, is upset at the Oscars because the visual effects society uh, thought the Oscars were being mean. Uh, it started with a tweet. Uh, the, well, let's, let's watch the, uh, the moment at the Oscars in question. MP. Here's James Corden and Rebba Wilson delivering their award for best uh, visual effects in the cat's garb. Uh, and honestly, they look better there than they do in the movie. Uh, but uh, they came out to sort of say, we both know the importance of how visual effect, like they were just completely making fun of Cats and its visual effects. Uh, so they showed up in Cats. Uh, look, I thought it was funny. It's a joke. Uh, but you know who didn't think it was funny? This guy. Uh, hey, guys, I haven't watched all the Oscars, but I assume these two were really classy and thanked me for working 80-hour weeks right up until I was laid off and the studio closed, right? Uh, and this guy is a uh, VFX artist on Cats. Um, look, he got uh, a lot of attention there, and uh, thanks for that point of support. Like, I, I do want to say, like, it's not this guy's fault. Uh, I see why he's annoyed. He didn't make the movie. He's doing his job. Uh, and so for them to sort of knock and blame it on the visual effects, it's really Tom Hooper's job to make the choice on how the visual effects are ultimately. He's the stamp of approval at the end of how these effects are going to look. So uh, the Visual Effects Society was upset, so they pick a, they pick a fight with uh, – uh, this sort of jab that the Oscars took. Um, and they said, uh, the best visual effects in the world will not compensate for a story told badly. Rawr! <laughs> um, so look, everyone knows this was a flea bomb as deadline here is reporting, uh, open to a $6.5 million domestic reviews were catty at best claustroph- claustrophobic, claustrophobic at worst. It's a lot of puns they're doing. Uh, and so anyway, so th- this was, a. Uh, Probably in response uh, to Patton Oswald, who also made a joke at the, the Visual Effects Society Awards last month, where he said, uh, the Star Wars franchise ended after 50 years, and after one screening, so did the Cats franchise, uh, he said to last. Isn't that amazing? Were you guys on strike when they made that one? What was going on there? That movie was a screensaver designed to not give me a boner. Um, <laughs> uh, look, but I don't think he was making fun of the effects. He was making fun of the movie, right? Whereas uh, when... Uh, these two, Rebel Wilson and James Corden, came out, they were taking a shot at the effects because they were thought it would be funny. Let's come out for best effects. They should have done it for costume or something. It was kind of an attack at them, but I also think VES, VES, VES Society is being a little bit of a baby. Uh, but let's read their full statement because I'm curious what you guys think. Do they do they have a point here? Uh, are they allowed to be catty about this? Do they feel like they're shots are being taken unfairly at the visual effects team who worked 80 hours uh then got laid off on a project that they didn't have the creative control over they're following orders uh, is it their fault should they be the knock of our jokes about how creepy cats looks let's hear what they had to say and then you guys can help me make a decision uh but here it is the visual effects society is focused on recognizing advancing and honoring visual effects as an art form and ensuring that the men and women behind are uh, working in vfx are properly valued Last night in presenting the Academy Award for Outstanding Visual Effects, the producers chose to make visual effects the punchline and suggested that bad VFX were to blame for the poor performance of the movie Cats. The best visual effects in the world will not compensate for a story told badly. (laughs) Uh, On a night that is all about honoring the work of talented artists, it is immensely disappointing that the Academy made visual effects the butt of a joke. It demeaned the global community of expert VFX practitioners doing outstanding, challenging, and visually stunning work to achieve the filmmaker's vision. Our artists, technicians, and innovators deserve respect for their remarkable contributions to filmed entertainment and should not be presented to the all-too-convenient scapegoat in service for a laugh. Moving forward, we hope that the Academy will properly honor the craft of visual effects and all of the crafts, including cinematography and film editing, because we all deserve it. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. I mean, comments in here have been supportive, and uh, some are not. Uh, someone who worked in the VFX Cats was awful. Even if you worked 80 hours a week, it was still awful. You could make the most advanced technical masterpiece and still have it be ugly and disliked. Welcome to creativity. Surprise is the backlash over a few innocent jokes. Uh, and, uh, look, there, a lot of uh, 
I, I say make up for perceived diss by throwing the rest of the creative team under the bus. The defense is basically, yeah, it sucked, but it wasn't our fault. Uh, that's as funny as the original joke. Lots of blame go around, and that one, friends, but, but man, the creepy VFX on those humanoid Chernobyl cats was disturbingly bad. Let's all just admit it and move on. Look, that's where I fall to. I think he, that was well said. I mean, it, an eye for an eye is sort of what they decided to do there by saying, well, look, don't blame us. The movie was terrible. It wasn't because of us. And they're right. The visual effects wasn't their decision. I mean, I assume as much. I assume that's Tom Hooper and the producers. Uh, there's probably a VFX lead or someone who is helping pitch designs, but that's all based off of the notes the director gives. So if there's anybody who has to own this failure, it's Tom Hooper. By, by no, of course, this was his vision. He was leading the ship. He made the creative choices. He was working on this movie until release date that Friday. Uh, it was not even done when it hit theaters. They had to re-release, resubmit the digital file to the theaters to improve effects because they had human hands on some of the shots because they just couldn't finish in time. Look, this movie bit off more than it can chew. And then Universal just assumed this was going to be like an awards darling. There was talk of like, will cats make the cutoff to be up for awards consideration? Up until people started seeing the film, even after, even with the trailer, it didn't matter. People just assumed Tom Hooper of King's Speech, Les Mis, uh, and this cast, like everyone just assumed, oh, this must be some a massively surprising, fantastic film that we're all just not ready for. Um, and the reality was, no, it's not. It's not like one of those movies that was ahead of its time or super creative and deserves some you know respect or even campy in a fun way, like Showgirls. No, this is a embarrassment of a movie that goes all the way around. Again, again, like I said in my review, it's boring. You can actually watch me watching the movie with my buddies. We did a drunken screening. I'll uh, put the iCard up here. Uh, woo, 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 woo. There comes the iCard. Uh, so you can click on that little I and you can go. I've made it unlisted just because it, the video didn't turn out. My night vision didn't work, but you can hear us. Uh, and sometimes the, the light comes up enough to see us, uh, but you can sort of tag it along and watch it uh, when the movie comes out or without it. You can sort of hear us react and be horrified as we watch the movie. Uh, Thank you to uh, Anthony over at Villaggio Theaters for letting us get a little private theater to do it. Um, you don't see the movie, you just hear us. You don't see or hear the movie. But my point being, check that out, or I'll put it at the description uh, annotation at the end. But my point is, like, as I watched the movie, I went with buddies. We had some beers. I was excited to like, yeah. And I just, it was, it was boring. It was boring. It was a. T we all agreed like this is this isn't as fun as we thought it would be. Thank God they were there and we could just talk to the screen because if I had to sit there in a crowded theater like and pretend to be interested, or I would have fallen asleep. It's a very very weird movie um but look it's weird because of the humanoid cats uh which i don't think the vfx guys did poorly uh they're forced to work overtime like that guy said i believe it they're f permalancers who don't even probably get benefits half the time that are being whipped to just do quickly qu quicker uh and cheaper or they're going to outsource it to other countries uh it is a tough business we're in now and vfx now are getting harder and harder to maintain the quality uh and some of those shops pop up and then they're gone because the film didn't perform. Uh, so look, I do think the VES society has there has a fair point of there was no need to call out the visual effects, uh, the the creativity of the movie and the creative choices. That's completely fair game. But I do think the visual effects team did their job. Uh, I it does, it doesn't mean they liked it. Doesn't mean they decided to do it right. It just means they do what they're told, which employees should do when their boss is saying, no, I got a vision. Let's do this. So I, I see both sides of this, but what do you guys think? Is that, do you feel like they're being babies and just suck it up? You're, you made a bad movie actors. Everybody get blamed for the bad movie that they didn't write. Uh, so just deal with it. There's a little bit of me that thinks that at the same time, I do agree. Like, did you have to put them at the VFX category and make it seem like it was, that was the problem? Uh, because Let's be fair. It was the problem, but it was the creative choice that was a problem. It wasn't the the visual effects. They did that. They did not have enough time. They were rushing to meet a deadline. They were doing everything they could to try and make it work, but they were following the director's orders. So I can't knock, and I've seen it. The fur does look cool. Like It's just the choice to put the human faces on cat upright cat bodies is nightmare fuel. <laughs> it just is. But I will give the visual effects team credit. They did it. They did what they were asked, uh, but we weren't in those meetings. We we're like, guys, this looks kind of weird. Are we sure we want to do this? Uh, so again, that's where I'm at. I, I see both sides. Of this. It's like the Lion King. Like someone, they're so focused on making it look real that they lost focus of 
should we be doing this, right? And with cats, I think they got so lost in the, oh, wow, this is gonna be so out there and crazy. And you, you, you're at your editing computer for so long, you're so lost sometimes in the content that you don't actually step back to say, is what we're doing actually cool? Or is this just, we're just loopy and, and <laughs> sleep deprived. Uh, cats feels like it was a little bit of the latter. Everyone sort of thought, oh, we're doing this awesome, big, expensive thing. It's gonna blow minds. And it didn't, and it was boring, and it just proved that that's why they never should have made and never were planning to make a Cats movie. Uh, put it, Leave it on Broadway. Uh, but what do you guys think? Uh, which side are you? Are you side team VFX, or are you side grow up? It's a bad movie. Just suck it up and move on to the next one. Uh, leave your comments down below or hit me up on social media. Uh, just drop some cool exclusives over on Fandom Wire. If you haven't checked out, I've been writing for there. You can go to Fandom Wire News on Facebook or FandomWire.com. Uh, DC's latest new feature-length show, I'm sorry, feature-length movie uh, for HBO Max announced over there. So uh, check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more exclusives and updates that I'll be talking about throughout the week, uh, and uh, including one I got for a cool... I, I'm not gonna, I, can't, I shouldn't have said that. I'm not going to tease it. I got a cool little scoop that I'm going to be sharing at the end of the week. So be sure to subscribe. You're not going to miss it. Smash that like button, comment, all that stuff, and thank you so much for watching. Meow! That's cat for goodbye.